top 10 best features and things coming to the update. So stick around through the whole list. I would love to know what you think about the update and let me know if you learned something. I think you might. Here we go. Number 10 is the tough block variations. This might be maybe the worst ranking I have. I wanted to rank this higher. I think in the long run, in a couple of years, the tough blocks, all of the bricks and variations are gonna be utilized by every single player in Minecraft. The builds are just epic. If you like medieval builds, castle builds, tough block variations, amazing. Number nine is wolf armor, the dyed wolf armor, and just the whole mechanics of it. I've played with the wolf armor since the very beginning. I've tested it. I've made shorts about it. The current version of Wolf Armor, what I think we're going to get, is really amazing. Actually, in our hardcore bedrock world, we're currently caving, like last night. Look at his dog's Mac match the geode. Let's go. We're caving with a whole pack of wolves, and none of them have died, and they're actually doing work down there. Number eight is the Armadillo. I'm only ranking this thing above the Wolf Armor because I feel like you have to have the Armadillo to get the armor. Other than that, I don't know. It's cute, I guess seven you might not know this but one bed sleep is coming to the bedrock edition of minecraft in vanilla i do not want to die i do not want to die oh one bed sleep yo it okay so if you've ever played on a realm or a server or a multiplayer world and you're trying to get everybody to sleep and you know how bad that is you're probably excited about one bed sleep number six is the breeze mob this thing is just crazy looking i mean just look at it it's super fun to battle. It makes for an interesting interaction. And man, I just wanna capture one and bring it back to my base like right away. Number five are the copper block variations. If you don't know about these, you gotta check these things out. Look at these blocks. They're just epic. Like for the first time, I think in Minecraft, we can really build out some industrial modern type builds uh, without any mod packs. Okay, number four is gonna be the vault block and just the whole premise of the vaults in general and how you loot them. It's a great way on multiplayer worlds for everybody to fairly loot a structure. Number three are the trial chambers as a structure these things are amazing from the beginning they were a little bit weird but they've fleshed them out they have really refined them and they are super fun they're confusing you can get lost in them they're challenging the base potential the mini game potential that you're going to be able to do even just the like if you need copper just deleting one and using all that copper there's so many amazing opportunities with the trial chambers if you've never looted one just get ready number two is the mace weapon we haven't got a new weapon in so long and this thing is next level it is challenging to acquire it is overpowered like completely and it's challenging to use it has so much potential especially in multiplayer worlds where like if you're the one guy running around with a mace it's just going to be epic Okay, so number one, 1.21 feature that's coming is hardcore mode for Bedrock Edition. I don't even think people realize how big this is going to be. I really think that it's going to change not just the way people play the game and enjoy Minecraft, it's gonna create a change in content creation. I really think that this one feature is gonna usher in a whole new population of content creators. People don't even realize how big it's going to be. So that's my list. How would you rank them? What did I miss? I know I left some features out. Let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching and we will catch you on the next one. Peace.